Let's first do a, a quick compare contrast, not a deep dive one, but just kind of a compare contrast on some of the qualities and characteristics between these two, just in case you need a refresher. In general, again, as you as a person listening or watching along, which one of these do you think in general, overall, your entire system, which one do you lean toward? Right. So uh, analytic is a more goal focused function uh, or, or, or energy. It's, uh, it's looking for a specific outcome. It's driven towards that outcome and it tends to be um, a little more confident and have a lot of clarity about what it wants. And holistic is more open-ended. It's more seeking input and reflecting. It doesn't have a lot of clarity necessarily about an outcome and what it wants, uh, but it also is more patient. It's more it tends to be more curious and is a part of the flow of a process as opposed to the end game. Analytic is also more top down in situations. Holistic is more bottom up in situations. Analytic is more visual and wants things fast. Holistic tends to be more auditory and more narrative focused and a little slower of a process. Analytic is also a more literal thinker, whereas a holistic approach is a more figurative style of thinking. And, um, analytic st styles tend to be more comfortable in hierarchies, whereas holistics are more egalitarian. Yeah. So that's like a, that's like a quick compare contrast. And so we're going to take these energies and we're going to apply them to the cognitive functions. Now, this is episode three in this four part series. The first two episodes, we talked about the four, what's called perceiving cognitive functions. These are the ways that we perceive our world. We learn information, we take in the world. And so, you know, that could be just difference of worldview, difference of things. But today we're going to switch to two of the four functions that are technically called judging functions. What that means is these are part of the evaluative criteria, the way we can make decisions in the world. We've, we have like thoughts about these things. Like we have, we have like our own, we own how we feel about these or think about these. We have decisions, like there's disagreements that will come up. Because we're pretty sure that this decision needs to be made in this way. And so often, this is where the fights can happen, right? This is where the disagreements can happen. This is where we start doing, that's not how that is in Tony or Joel. It works this way. It's because we're talking about something that's very judicious in our lives. Yeah. Right. When you say we, you mean humans. Humans, yes. Right. <laughs> I don't mean just you and me. Right. It's like, well, we have opinions on the judging <laughs> functions. You mean like, no, humans. No, we all have yeah. opinions on the judging, like from that, that part of ourselves. Yeah. We call it the shouldness of the world, yeah. right? It's like how things should be. And so we, we tend to stand by our shoulds, right? And it's like, that's not how it should be. And that's the judging functions that are the, are the backers of the shoulds. So I would say that if you feel like, wait a second, that can't be it. Well, hang tight. Cause we're going to explain some of this, but you also might want to come over and be part of our personality quests. Because every week we gather with a tribe of like minds, just like you, geeking out about personal growth type, but also how to make it real in our lives, apply it. I'd love for you to be part of this because I think if you come and you experience the podcast and then right afterward get to talk about, ask questions around and unpack some of the key concepts, even if you're new and you're like, what is going on? I think it'll become very clear in that quest experience. So personality quest, go over to personalityarchive.com forward slash quest. I would love for you to be part of this week's quest coming up to discuss some of the concepts around this. And, uh, and let's just jump right into the thinking processes now. Okay. So like you mentioned, we've already done the sensing functions in the first podcast and the intuitive functions in the second podcast. And now we're moving into the judging functions. And what makes this a little more challenging is, uh, and, and we've already talked about how uh, analytic can sound more extroverted and holistic can sound more introverted, but it's not, that doesn't track. We've also talked about how it's not that thinkers favor analytic and, and feelers favor holistic. And we've talked about all the different configurations and why understanding these flavors can be very helpful in helping determine your best fit type and not doing mistypes and learning really valuable lessons and taking in more territory about how all of these functions work. But the challenge when we get to the thinking functions is that particularly extroverted thinking, but both extroverted thinking effectiveness and introverted thinking accuracy kind of sound analytic just in, in themselves. In the way they're described. Yes, exactly. Or, or just how we see them. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a little bit extra of a pull 
to really understand the difference between analytic and holistic, particularly extroverted thinking or effectiveness. So um, I'm going to do my best to try to create this distinction. This also comes from Dr. Dari Nardi's work. It's his new book we're pulling this from. Some right. of the material. Thank you. I just realized we need to mention that too. We do. We do. What is the name of that book? Decode Your Personality, 64 Brain-Based Subtypes to Go Beyond Myers-Briggs. So it's Dr. Nardi's work. He's also pulled on the work of Dr. Victor Glenko, who also works with Socionics in Europe, but he's the uh, he's done some work around subtypes. In fact, some of the names are used with Victor's permission. We uh, Dari also tunes into Helen Fisher, Dr. Helen Fisher's work around neurotransmitters. And hormones. And hormones, and also uh, his own work with EEG brain, brain imaging. Right. So he can see which subtype or which parts of the brain or which flavor of analytic holistic show up on the brain scans right. for people. Yeah, well, it was the confusion around all of that stuff, right? Why were, why were these all showing up differently? It was yeah. the confusion around it that led to this work. So this isn't just made up out of thin air. This comes from a lot of research and, and a synthesis of a lot of things that are, uh, you know, I guess being talked about in different areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So all of that said, let's go into extroverted thinking or effectiveness. So we've been, we've been saying it throughout the podcast, even though this is the preferred function of TJs in the Myers-Briggs system, all of us use extroverted thinking or effectiveness. It just depends on where it falls. And, uh, and <clears throat> as we have also mentioned in previous podcasts, the higher up a function is for you, the more preferred it is for you, the more likely you are to be able to dip into both of the energies. So if you hear a description of these functions and you go, I think I do both of them, is that possible? The answer is yes. In fact, it's what we want to do. We want to use both sides. And when we develop both sides, both the analytic and the holistic versions or flavorings, they end up creating a very mature version of the function. So it's ideal. It is our goal to use both sides. If we're only able to access one side or the other, that is a form of one-sidedness. And it usually, it usually is obvious. It comes up a lot. So, um, so if you are, if this is one of your preferred functions, self-identifying which side you tend to prefer uh, or, or like better, the analytic or the holistic version, uh, take note of that and see what you can do to help develop the other side of it, uh, because that's uh, what will make a case for why a, a balance of that is important for really maturing the function and getting the most out of it. Okay. All right. So that's all the preamble. Let's get into extroverted thinking. All right. So uh, as there's a lot of before, preamble, it was so much preamble. <laughs> it's well, like, feels like in, incredible <laughs> amounts of preamble for all of that. <laughs> well, I think the reason why the reason why we have so much preamble right now is it's a series that we don't know if somebody's coming in the midstream. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, so we have to talk to both the person who has been following us and the person who's like just yeah. here for this one episode. <laughs> so it's hard to go, okay, what are all the things that we have to say every episode? All yeah. Right. Okay. But, but that's we did done. it. We're done. We the did good. Hey, fist bump. Good that's job. Right. The first book end is complete. Let's now get into the material. Yeah. All right. 